What's going on, everybody? This is Matt Does Fitness, and I've just been reading some pretty shocking statistics about the most common way people walk when they're drunk. It's staggering. eating episode 20 and as promised this one is going to be a pretty exciting one um, I'll tell you why in a second now it is a Saturday morning if you look behind me it's raining and pretty crappy this is standard British weather for the majority of the year um, now basically uh, today I have something very special planned um, as you may know I work in a school so I'm now on half term and because of that um, I have time off and so I'm going to be doing something pretty cool. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is pretty much like the Titanic um, except that instead of being in a massive uh, cruise liner I'll be in my car. Uh, instead of sailing across the Atlantic I'll be just driving down to the southwest and instead of uh, hitting an iceberg and sinking and drowning, I'll just be just getting there. Uh, yeah. So anyway, um, basically we are going to St Ives. Um, if you're unaware of where that is, it's like southwest down in Cornwall. Literally, I'm down in the southeast. That is down in the very far southwest. So I'm driving like the complete width of the country, pretty much as far as you can drive uh, horizontally. Um, it's now about 20 past 10 uh, in the morning, obviously. Um, I'm going to be doing some bench press today. Uh, I'm doing touch and go uh, for, I think, five sets of three, relatively heavy. Uh, so obviously you'll see me in the car in a bit. Um, Breakfast-wise today, let's see what's on the agenda. Porridge is ready to go. It's been sitting there for a while, so it's going to be pretty stodgy. Um, I've got milk in that. Uh, green variation which is semi skimmed and thank you very much for the cow enthusiast last, last week filling me in on the uh, cow details basically a cow could easily produce this much milk but it may not all end up in the same bottle if you see what I mean uh, more cow facts next week um, this is a little thing of nuts uh, smushed up nuts I think they're predominantly hazelnuts they're gonna be going on there this is some golden syrup of course that's a picture of my lion. I actually own a lion. Uh, he is in my basement for three quarters of the year, so you probably won't see him, but come the summer, he'll be out. Um, that's going to be going on there. And this is my peasant um, protein shaker because my good ones are in the dishwasher. And I have had 30 grams of whey with water, as is the case. I also have my um, multivitamin, my glucosamine, and my cod liver oil and I've also you'll notice put them on a spoon which means rather conveniently I can do this Ta -da! Uh, that's a little spoon multivitamin supplement tip for you there um, Right, that's pretty much that, guys. I'm going to eat my breakfast before it goes even more stodgy and just turns into a porridge jelly. Uh, I will catch up with you very shortly in the car post-gym. And I'm done. Um, that was a friggin' good session. It was quite quick because um, I need to get it done to get on the road. We need to get driving because we've got quite a long way to go. It's going to be like five and a bit hours, I think, which is going to suck. But it'll be awesome when we get there. Um, right, I did bench press. Uh, that was pretty decent. Five sets of three. Uh, I felt pretty good. I then did some chest and triceps, and I am pumped. Um, I did triceps before chest, which I very rarely do, and I actually found that obviously the tricep portion it was better, and the chest for some reason felt I felt like my chest was getting. I felt like it, yeah, you know, there was kind of more of a chest pump than I would ordinarily get, um, probably because it's just doing something a bit different. Um, so that would be my tip, guys. If you're getting bored or you're not finding you're getting the results you want, just mix things up. Um, even if it isn't something you think is amazing, even if it's not something you would ordinarily do, just do something different in your training and you'll be amazed with the results you can get. Um, okay, I've had, or I'm about to have my protein. I've got 30 grams of whey again. And again, I'm using my peasant uh, poverty shaker because my good ones are in the wash. Um, washing 
machine dish washer. Um, I haven't got any uh, snack type items because I forgot to bring them. Um, and more importantly, look at my hair. It looks ridiculous. So then, if you agree, but I do not like my hair being this long. I normally cut it every kind of probably like six weeks or so, I guess. Um, and this is pretty much on the upper limit of how how long I'd have it. Um, and it is annoying me. It goes like all on my face and just looks stupid and is all like sweaty and irritating. Um, so that's going to go. Um, I'm going to go home now, cut it and have a shower. And that is the beauty of these videos that you do not want to need to watch all of the boring stuff in the middle. So I'm going to go home now, <clears throat> cut my hair and you're going to see the effects of that now. Ta-da! And there we have it. I've cut my hair rather successfully. Um, I'm getting pretty good at it. I've been doing it for a few years now, every six weeks. Use clippers, do it myself. Um, not only is it far more convenient, you don't have to like, worry about doing anything to your hair, you just shower and you're good to go. Plus, haircuts. Think about how much your haircut costs, how often you get it done. I'm saving all of that money. I must have saved loads and loads of money. I'm not going to work it out, but I reckon quite a lot. Um, Anyway, yeah, I've had a shower, I'm feeling clean, I'm changed, I'm good to go. Um, we are about to get on the road. Before we do that, I'm quickly eating a last minute snack. This is some sausage lasagna, which looks bloody good. I think you will agree. Look at all the sausage and tomato action in there. It's really, really good. Uh, made one of those the other day, and this is just like the last bit of it. Because um, I figured I'd get the most, as much food as I can in before we actually get on the road. Uh, it's going to be a long journey, I reckon about five and a bit hours. Uh, We've got loads of food to bring with us, but um, don't want to take any chances, you know. Um, going back to the sausage lasagna, I made it the other day, last night actually, um, and it's very, very good. And I'm going to put it, I've made uh, like a bodybuilding meals uh, video with that in it, so it'll be up on th Tuesday. It'll be up on Tuesday, so watch it. There's some good banana action in there, um, and it's a really, really good, uh, fairly easy to make meal which is delicious, so yeah, good luck, fill your boots. Um, anyway, I'm now gonna eat this, then I'm gonna get in the car, and I'll catch up with you on our exciting, fun-packed, action-filled journey. Okay, we are approximately half an hour in, I guess. We still have 300 miles to go, which is a fairly daunting prospect. Um, it was really sunny a minute ago now, it's pretty overcast, looks like it might rain. Uh, in more exciting news, I have a Curly Whirly. Um, this is actually a normal size one, I'm just massive. Okay, um, we've stopped. Uh, it is currently night time as 
You can probably detect from the lack of light. Um, I am in the process of eating a BLT, which as you probably know, stands for Big Luscious Tomatoes. As you can see, there's loads of them in there. Um, there's also some bacon and lettuce. Um, it is 10 to 7. We've been driving for uh, like three and a half, almost four hours actually. Four hours? Four hours. We've been driving for four hours, over four hours, bloody hell, for ages. Uh, we are only 80 miles away. We are on the home straight, so everything's very exciting. When we get there, um, we're going to make some dinner. Uh, this is just to tide me over for the rest of the journey. I'm pretty excited to see what the place is like. It looks like it's going to be really cool, so that should be good um, to see. If it's rubbish, then I won't film it. Um, this will be the end of the video, so I'm just covering my back for that eventuality. Oh, sorry, you just caught me reading um, Love Lessons from A to Z. Um, good read. I will say it's highly erotic. So, you know, Valentine's Day, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey is coming out of the cinema, so quite in keeping in that respect. Um, we are here. You may have gauged, gorged, guessed, ascertained from the old fire and stone, stony surroundings. We're here, uh, we're in the cottage. It is bloody incredible. It's really small, but it's really cool. I rule Darth Maul is a character from Star Wars. Um, I'm eating some cashews. Dinner is on the go. I'm really, really hungry. I thought I was fine, and then suddenly about two minutes ago, it just hit me, the hunger, so I'm struggling. So. I'm excited about that. We're going to have some uh, dough from our type potatoes with some salmon and broccoli. Um, it's going to be good. Um, stay tuned. And here we have it. Uh, salmon, broccoli and dough from our potatoes. This looks very good. And I am incredibly hungry. My stomach is actually, you know when you, your stomach hurts because you're hungry? I'm getting that and I very rarely get that. So. This is quite an experience for me. Um, I'm not going to lie, on an in excitement scale uh, or an excitement percentage, I'm looking at 80, probably 85 to 90%, like an 8.5 to 9 out of 10. I'm very, very excited to eat this. So excited, in fact, that I'm probably just going to start eating it now. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. Um, this is really, really good. Um, it's actually, for me, by my standards, although I do generally eat pretty well, in these four days of eating, I'm very mindful of the fact that a lot of the time I eat crap, like takeaway type food, because they always kind of fall on Saturdays, and that's the time when I generally get that kind of stuff. So this is a, a pretty reasonable example of a good meal, to be fair, so I'm pretty happy with this. Um, right, stop watching me, you dirty perverts. I'm going to eat this, and then we'll have a think about some potential dessert. Oh baby, whoa! Right, there goes that one then. Valentine's Day, trying to make a romantic gesture and that is the reception I get. Unbelievable, what are these modern women like? Um, right. On the dessert front, we had a slight issue in that we didn't have any dessert. So, rummaged around, luckily says brought some popcorn, that's going to have to make do. Uh, it is toffee popcorn, which I like. I'd say it's probably my favourite popcorn flavour, closely followed by sweet, which if you think about it, isn't really a flavour. Um, if someone said to me, What's your favourite flavour? And I said sweet. You'd say, sorry, what? What do you mean? It's, you know what I mean? It's not a specific flavour. It's just a general kind of description of taste. Um, last in my popcorn flavour ranking behind anything else would be salted. I find that infuriating. Why would you want salted popcorn? That's like me saying, oh, I'll have some uh, sugared chicken nuggets, please. You don't have... Popcorn is meant to be sweet. It's meant to have like a sweet um, 
taste, it shouldn't be salty. When you eat popcorn and it's salty, it freaks me out every time. Even, even if I know it's salty, it still freaks me out. I can't come to terms with that. So if you like salty popcorn, put a comment in the comment section below and say, I like salty popcorn, uh, I'm a dirty freak. Uh, okay, so I'm going to eat that. I've already had my protein and creatine. I've jumped the gun a bit there because it's relatively late. Um, I had 30 grams of whey with milk because we didn't have any chocolate milk and my 5 grams of creatine. Um, and that, guys, is pretty much that. Uh, that rounds up my day. And what a day it's been. And by what a day, I mean what a lot of car time I've had today because we've had a six hour, I think it was pretty much six hours in the car, it's a lot of car time a lot more than I've had in a while um, eating some good food, I had some nice sandwiches in the car I uh, had some all kinds of like crunchy, curly whirly all that stuff, I had a really good uh, Valentine's meal just now as well which was decent, um, all in all it's been a solid day, this place is really cool by the way um, we're going to go out exploring. Also, um, in case you are confused, because <clears throat> my videos are a week behind, uh, what, but this one, the full day of eating is always, I, I've made this, you're watching it on the Sunday, I made it the day before, so this is like a day out of time, whereas my other stuff, my training videos are a week out of time. So. Although I'm going to be training down here in St. Ives for the next few days, you won't see those sessions until the following week. Uh, so if you see my videos from like tomorrow, for example, and they're in my normal gym and you think, what's going on? That's the shortest trip ever. I haven't come back already. You're just watching the videos <laughs> from the week I've just done. Anyway, that's confusing. Uh, just forget about it. Who cares? Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, and I will see you tomorrow.